All right, guys, welcome back to another lobster fishing video. Um, I'm wearing the same exact clothes as last time because they smell like garbage and no amount of detergent could fix that. So, but this time we've got all our own gear. I was able to find nine lobster nets for a pretty, pretty decent price. And we've got um, our own smasher, our own bucket. We're we're doing it full on now. So hopefully we actually get some lobster. Um, we've got a couple new spots that we were told. A couple spots we want to try. A couple old spots. We'll see how it goes. We're going to try the new spots first. If they don't produce, we'll go to some of the new spots. That I just had. Yeah. We're going to go to the new spots first. New and spots then, first and then old spots that had lobster before. Um, we're meeting Patty Hop and Pat down there. No Josh this week because apparently baseball is more important than fishing. Duties has his new waders, so he's gonna be smashing all the fish and loading all the bait jugs. That's what you get when you mm. get nice gear. I think Patty Hop and Par likes that. Patty Hop and Pat. Pat, whatever. Yeah, Patty Hop and Pat does. Patty Hop and Pat was also supposed to make a smasher. What a happened bait to that? Cutter. Didn't do that. But other than that, we're gonna go out and have some fun, most importantly. Try to not take ourselves too seriously. Stay tuned for Duty's beer review. We out here. Duty's beer review will be linked. Up here. I think it's on this side. <laughs> up here. <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> somewhere on the top. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Join us for another night of lobstering. Look, look what the cat drug in. Back with Dear Wizard Films, baby. <laughs> Back lobstering. Like them or do they know you? Just this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one. He just hangs out. Really? Dude, he's huge. Look how big he is. Oh my god. He's the smartest oh, one too, obviously. Yeah. Befriended the right people. <laughs> I right don't, guys. Have a good night. Have a good one. That's awesome. All right, we got our bait. Can you give me uh, the smash tool. We uh, always be nice to the bait barge, guys. You never know when they're gonna give you an extra scoop. Give you a spot to fish. Pays to be nice to. Them. All right, so we're pulling up to our first spot. Um, something to keep in mind when you're lobster fishing is to figure out the tides because the tides coming in, you want to be on the opposite side. If you're fishing a big rock, if you're fishing a jetty, and there's a rock in the jetty, um, you want to be on the side opposite that the tide is going so that that bait smell gets pushed into whatever you want your net next to. So that those lobsters smell it with the tide, the water's pushing it that way, and they come into you. If you're on the opposite side, it's just gonna be push, getting pushed away from your structure that you're fishing. So try to uh, try to pay attention to the tides. We're not that good, but I, you know, I don't even know if that's true. I just feel as if, I'm feel gonna... as if that's good truth. <laughs> It's, it it, uh, it sounds right. It sounded yeah. like I was knowledgeable. Yeah, I was like, I like that. We've caught three lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've, we've caught like 40 lobsters. Sorry, but sorry. We've caught illegal. three legal lobsters. Yet to fish a spot of our own. Try to get like right in between them. Yeah, we got you. Hold <laughs> back up. Back up a little bit. All right. Slow though. All right, so things we're looking for, guys, we're pretty much just looking at our fish finder. And we're just looking for big humps, um, flat spots next to a wall. You don't want to throw your net on a slant. It's going to sit at a slant. And I, again, I don't know if that's true, but I just feel like you don't want your stuff on a slant. You want it right at the base of whatever you're fishing. Um, so it sits flat. Everything can get into it. Um, 
you're looking for they do they are in eelgrass there's not a ton of eelgrass in san diego bay i know there is some but there's not a ton and there's not enough in spots i know of um more so like la jolla area um but i know nothing about la jolla lobster fishing besides diving which is rad um which we should be doing at some point on this uh channel we found that if we soak our nets around 30 minutes 30 to 45 minutes that was kind of it gave us our best our best catches so don't know if that's true a lot of people say 20 minutes is enough but i don't know longer the better seems to me but what more could you ask for and to be with your buddies on a friday night oh where's the beer no beer commercial driver's license fishing lobster fishing it's a beautiful night the water's calm, in a good mood. Honestly, I hate saying it, but even if we don't catch lobster, still have a good time. Still a night. I won't feel that way cleaning the boat, but we gotta get duties a lobster this time. Shout out to Nikki Lyons, future Nikki Barr. Shout out her. <laughs> Oh yeah, we like Nikki Barth. Shout out to Bumble for Dane. Not holding in there real must, well. Must so we needed bottles for our lights. Or roosters. And we didn't have three jugs. Yeah. So, hot Gatorades. Are we gonna have a contest? Yeah, chug contest. All right, cheers. cheers. Three, two, one. That win? Jesus. Ah. I think we're interrupting a wedding at the moment. Aww. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. We just got finished setting our last set. So all nine are in the water. We're pulling up on our first three. Um, we're using a gaff to retrieve the, the line because we're close to pillars and I don't like getting my, my prop near things. So Carr and Dane are on pulling duty and gaff and duty and yeah, we shall see how it goes all right oh for six remember when i said i don't care if we catch lobster you just put them change my mind now i really want to catch lobster all right all right we are back in our original spot the spot we came the first time where we caught the big guy um so i'm gonna do a little pass on it see if i can see it again and then we'll try to make three drops on this, three drops on the next one, and then maybe try to find a new little spot out here if we can find something. So Dude, can you lift that up? We shall see. Right here. What? Yeah, pull it. Let's go far! First spot. First pull at the other spot. Go deeper. Oh yeah, baby. Lobster. We got lobster. Why aren't they moving? Ooh, that's a big crab. Look at those arms. That one's Definitely got some lobster. Little crab. That's such a more satisfying. That one ball, might be dude. legal. I want some food, baby. Oh yeah. Legal? I don't know. Got a lot Those of crabs. Those don't look good, do they? No, no none of them. Nothing. Any good ones? Don't look like it. Here's lobster. The little lobster. Alright, 
so we're calling it for the night. Um, only got one legal officer, but duty goes home with the lobster. better than none. Go ahead, turn me on. Duties get a lobster. Uh, hey guys, we're gonna be cooking up this California spiny lobster that we caught while we were fishing. We're gonna be air frying it, but first we've got to get it ready to cook. So what we're gonna do first off is we're gonna separate the tail from the head. So we're gonna take one of our knives and we're basically, do you wanna get in here? We're basically gonna cut this membrane around here to get more of the meat out of here. So we're just gonna kind of come around here, slice this membrane off all the way around, come underneath. Do you need to slice up? Cause they're gonna release a little bit of liquid too. You can twist and pull the tails off, but you lose a lot of meat doing it that way. So I'm trying to get all the meat that I can. So once you've got that membrane cut away, you can kind of just give it a light tug and I'll pull out. Some of those intestines will come with. And then here's the really cool part. You're gonna take his antenna and these antennas are barbed backwards. You can actually hear this, that noise they make. It's that noise they make when you grab them. Um, take one of these antennas and you bust it off. And then you're gonna take it and go right up the butt. I believe it's called a cloaca. Shove it up in there. It's gonna go in really easy, and then when you pull it out, it's gonna grab that poop sack with it. And then you just pull that whole thing out. Go back a second time. Cool. That's all out of there. Get rid of the head. Now we're gonna take our kitchen shears and we're just gonna cut right down the back. And then we're gonna open this up a bit. Pull this meat away from the shell with our finger. Should just pull right away. Then you get underneath it. And that meat will pull right up and away. Then we're just gonna drape it on top of that shell, season it up and put it in the air fryer. Okay, so we've got our lobster tail on our tray and we've got the meat butterflied. We're just gonna dab off the meat, take all the moisture off of it. And then I've got some melted butter. Gonna add some Old Bay seasoning to it. And baste the lobster tail with the melted butter and Old Bay. I don't have exact measurements for this, so. Cool thing about lobster is it is extremely quick to cook and tastes delicious, so it's a pretty quick meal. And then we are going to take this tray over to the air fryer. Air fry this at 380 for say five minutes to start. Okay, so the lobster's done. Pull it out. Shell got that nice red color. Bring it over here. We've got our butter and Old Bay dipping sauce. Got that nice opaque color. 
That's nicely cooked. Oh, it's delicious. Um, but the real test of if it's delicious, Onyx. Onyx. I have my my handy dandy taste tester. This is lobster. You said. Is it good? Tell the camera. Is it good? Nice. Tell the camera. Is it good? <laughs> I think it's good. I think he wants more. All right. So as you can tell, it was delicious. Like I said. A little bit of butter, Old Bay, on top of the meat, air fry it, 380, five minutes, and you've got a delicious little meal. As you can tell, Onyx enjoyed it too. He's wishing we caught more lobster. And yeah, get out there in San Diego, enjoy the fisheries that we have, and enjoy the meals and the food with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.